finally it's the last day before delivery and for the first thing i'm doing is doing the royal icing painted work um i opted to use royal icing from the guidance of Gigi instead of doing like edible painting with food color and vodka she advised me to use royal icing because she uses that and it works out very well and i'm very happy i listened to her and didn't go the edible paint way because it turned out to look like my client wanted and from the cake we were looking at or rather i was imitating and i really enjoyed doing this um then i my gift or giveaway cakes the parents cakes i just covered them with an edible border a beadwork for all three of the cakes and then just painted them i steamed them then added the gold leaf next thing i did was paint not paint what's it called bake the cake the sheet cakes that were going to be cut into like pre-cuts so i made that then rushed to the salon to get my nails done because i was looking dusty then um, when i got back home i just continued where i had left off <laughs> um so i basically finished up the cakes um because i realized i had so much time i would rather just do the things i would typically do the next morning let me just do them that evening so i added my flowers and then wrapped um the gift boxes the gift cakes the parents cakes i just packed them into the boxes because this see-through tra transparent boxes waste so much of my time man <laughs> I find them so time consuming they are so pretty but they waste so much of your time i get them from iome i hope i'm saying her name right iome cake packaging and then i got my flowers from purple sugar, sugar craft yes so the marble boards and the packaging for this transparent cake cake boxes oh my god english is gone i got them from the same shop all my big supplies or packaging supplies and then once i was done with those i decided to pack up everything i would need so all my perishables normally go into this box with shredded paper so that they're safe and also the knives and forks so my i changed my glasses into these gold ones it's because they're long lasting and like the glass ones i used to carry 90 percent of the time i never come home with them and then the other items like uh, stacking materials I just put them in the other box then I decided to just finish up these three cakes that are going on the tiers my initial plan was to go add gold leaf at the wedding but then it hit me how would I do that I'd have to actually carry my fondant steamer but then it, it like clicked even if i carry the steamer there's no guarantee i'm going to get like a source of electricity so that i can plug in my steamer and steam the cakes to be able to use it and so i just opted to do the gold leaf on the cakes then once i get to the wedding it would be easier for me to just add whatever needs to be added i was also very tempted to add the bead the fondant beadwork but that wouldn't work because once they dry i wouldn't be able to comfortably stack my cakes so i just chose to make those tomorrow before i leave for the venue so here is how everything looks once i was done everything is just placed on the table ready but then i realized before the day is over let me pack up everything so that tomorrow when i wake up it's just getting dressed and leaving so i at night i just chose to pack my cakes into their boxes and now i'm ready to go to the wedding so next thing i'll see you is at the wedding video on my youtube bye